let me just see if we're alive we should be live but anyway Yep, we are. Right? So string. Sorry guys, I just need a minute to set up um set up my watch me work stream and then we'll be good to go. In the meantime, I can tell you what we did yesterday. Yesterday we finished our... Um, actually, we started and we finished the game asset, which was a, a weapon, a little war axe, which was cool. Uh, you can go on my channel and watch it. It's... Um, it's under there. So, okay. Now I'm streaming here. Um, cool. This is online. This is there is online, and this is online. Nice. Okay. So we can go. Today, what we have today is um, just a small. We ha will have a short stream. This is my second consecutive day streaming without being on schedule. But anyway. Uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll create a short, just a piece of environment art, uh, kind of a stylized watchtower for a MOBA game or uh, RTS or something like this. Uh, and even though we'll create it in this style and this size, you know, this camera view, I will import my Unreal guy and we'll work in uh, real life uh, size. Where where he is? Where he is? He is right here. All right. So if you are playing a MOBA like Dota or League of Legends or whatever, or an RTS, you will probably have the option. Uh, your camera height and distance uh, will be from here up to all the way to up here. Anyway, we'll create this with uh, a real size dimension just so it's uh, it's easier uh, to work with inside the engine if we ever get there so what I'm going to do is just a simple watchtower that will you be able to put on the map inside the game and you will gain a, a fog of war range or something like this and I'm gonna start with the base of the tower which will be just like something like this Let's zero it uh, to 60 is fine. Perhaps it's a bit much, but yeah, it's a bit much. Let's make it two meters. There you go. And we're gonna elevate this a little bit like this. Even something like this. This will be the height. Yeah, this looks good. We'll check it later. And I'm gonna start creating the pieces. It will be just four easy uh, four wooden legs. So let's zero this. Let's make this 40 by 40 by 40 square. Those will be stones, and all those stones will make. Um, inside ZBrush of course so now here what I'm going to do is create four of those like this All right and now Gonna create wooden pillars that um, I don't know. Every time I create something, I zero it. I start from zeroing. I don't know why. 
it's just the way I do it. So we're gonna make this 20 by 20 by 20. Let's get those vertices and let's move them up to here. Gonna put the pivot on the bottom, and now we can move it in inside this. Rotated uh, five would be enough on this size side and five on this. There you go. Push the bottom like this. And we're gonna go to object. We're gonna mirror this. Delete the history and mirror it again. Whoa, nope. Minus, there we go. Cool, now here, what we can do is we can get this one face. Set and offset a little bit. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's get Let's move it like this. Yes, I agree, my friend. If I had a reference, this would be much faster. However, I do not.
Okay, that's kind of weird, but um, we can make it work. I don't know why I decided to rotate it like this, but... Cool, and now we can go and um, go to faces. Let's see if this work. Nope. Well, we can go to color loop this one, bring it a little bit down. Hmm. Once again, we are not aiming for any precision, any uh, reali realism here.
Okay. This will suffice for the. Oh, we gotta make the letter. So we we'll have a bunch of more polys, but we can reduce some, like. If we get this one, gonna mesh, combine it, draw shift I, hide everything but this. We can come here and we can go faces, get all the bottom faces, deselect everything else, and now we have actually. 300 triangles more, which is not bad. And now we can come here, hide everything. So we can basically we can come here and I think we can nope we can't hmm. there you go Dude, stop pressing the start key. Cool. We now have to do the letter. And the letter I'm gonna Whoa. Let's do it like this. So Right. 
Extract those. Cool. I'm just gonna bridge those back together. And um, I'm not the fastest worker in Maya. Like, I know people that are just um, insane. Hey, Ryan. That are insane in Maya. I just use it to get my things done until I go to ZBrush. We're gonna edit all this in Zebra, so right now I just wanna have a piece of geometry here and there. Now our guys on top. Cool, and now we just need the letter. And the letter will be some of this zero eight five by two hundred. I don't know. Let's make it ten. Okay, ten by ten by whatever.
Okay, we're gonna make the steps in ZBrush with Remesh. It's gonna be much easier than this. Um, well, basically we are pretty much done with it. So this one we can hide. All this, gonna combine it. I'm gonna go to Freeze Transformations and uh, Delete History. Okay, so let's export selection. I need a video about block modeling and Final Fantasy. Uh, well, block modeling is basically not that much of a deal these days uh, like what do you mean block modeling this can be block modeling uh, in zbrush we'll do it we'll just uh, right now switch to zbrush and do block modeling there so you know it's just the way of getting blocks into shapes that are right about the right size and then just go and do a uh, high poly on them it can help with, uh, I give, I'll give you that, it can help with generation of quicker uh, game meshes then because you can reuse some of your blocks but um, that's about it so Ooh, let's get a new folder watch tower and here I'm gonna go with block and just save it I'm not gonna triangulate, that's all I'm going to do and uh, yeah, let's jump to ZBrush. Yeah, oh, we are in the brush. Okay. Uh, let's import it. And this time I won't be able to stay uh, for longer to uh, to finish this. But I'll make sure I finish it. Um, I'll make sure I finish it offline and record it. Holy. Okay, there is a lot of work to do here. Um, auto group this. Get this one, and for starters. Split hidden, and we can work on this piece. Yeah, I don't know why. Because I extruded it wrong way, I guess. Yeah. We can rebuild this very quickly. So, my friend, this is as well box modeling. Don't uh, the the fact that it's in ZBrush and not in Maya doesn't mean shit. So, woo. If you want, like really old school making characters with by extruding polygons and faces um, there are a lot of videos in the on YouTube but I don't think <laughs> you'll see me doing it okay this one is kind of fixed 
Now this one here, control shift A, this one I want to split it. And this one will be dynamized for sure. So now those. Alright, now I can start doing it. I start doing what I want. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna do insert. So oh, this is the reason why I want to. Actually, no, I'm going to get those two. So, Humash, single poly, hold control, like this, and then Humash this one to get <laughs> to get a step. Control Shift A. Split hidden and let's show just those two and let's do a uh, ray mesh. Of size with transpose line, we're gonna repeat it like 13 times. Press Y to get your transpose. There you go. Whoa. Cool. And now you can make it uh, make mesh. There we go. And now you can just um, come here, get rid of the transpose because you don't need it anymore. Yeah. And scale down everything uh, by the size that you want. Perhaps you want them to protrude a little bit, everyone to be a little bit like this.
So, yes, I. This this is right. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna see me at least today spending more time in Maya. I'm slow in Maya. I'm clunky in Maya, and uh, quite honestly, I do it just because sometimes. First of all, I want to get better. That's why I keep practicing in it, on it. And second of all, um, because I wanted to have this in scale. Not that you can't set scale in ZBrush, but even though you can, uh, sometimes it's. There you go. I have letter. Cool and how much time we have? Uh, we have a lot left, actually. I have almost 50 minutes, left. so let's uh, get these things done. So for this, what I'm going to do is I am going to dynamize those. with a lot of resolution no projection, no blur and I'm gonna keep the groups on so now when I dynamash it each one will be uh, it will not dynamash together, together groups so now I can come here and I can go with s where is slash Slash three, let's see. If I want to, I can play with them, but the most important part is they will be. Um, They will be separated. Another thing I can do is I can so crease PG right now. Yeah, and then this will require a little bit more of a manual thing to do. So you can come here and you can crease all those manually. So I'm just gonna do it on a couple. There you go, and now you have. Um, hmm. Why right, this won't work? If you want them round, I mean, uh, perhaps the best thing will be to um, round them up like this and then just snake hook it up however I want them to be um, to be uh, hexagonal or whatever just because I want to go for this more of a stylized look so let's go back to Dynamesh and Dynamesh it back to this resolution this is a little bit less than we hope, but and now just for sake of it, if I get two of those and I group them one to be one group, if I dynamash it, as you can see it uh, kind of blocks them because they are one group. So this is the group function of uh, the dynamash. Okay, for now we're gonna leave this. We're gonna probably apply some noise on it. This one. Let's see. Get this here. 
duplicate it, delete hidden. Can show this and this one can go. Ninety degrees, and it can go in to create some something like this. and now we can duplicate this one rotate it in 90 degrees put them in of Dynamash and we can do the same so duplicate again 180 This one here can be. Oh, it's not dynamite. Well, when we dynamite, we can add um add our wood on it. So this this will be kind of. I don't know if I even want to have anything on them. The only thing I want to do is I want to make the stones a little bit more uh, so let's auto group this and I auto group it because when you auto group it and you control a click or control tap on a group with the trend with the gizmo it actually it automatically masks it masks it blah so once again it's a very very quick and easy way to do something that otherwise would require a lot more doing in our programs as you just saw in my so this here now this I want them to be kind of stony or something like this, so this will be dynamized. So let's dynamize those. Cool. Let's see. All right. There we go, we start, we start to get a look at one. A little bit more asymmetrical. 
because it's actually it's a pro stone it's not a cube Go. We can add some some noise on it and then mask it if you want. Uh, let's just make it something like this, and then you can go to mask by noise. If you go with this, uh, this is actually something that I learned some time ago. Uh, this layer brush with no uh, mask noise masking. If you want to create something like concrete that you see uh, the the finish on the top has been blown to pieces or something, what you, what you can do is you can use the layer brush with a very high intensity inside like this and then when you clear the noise you get uh, this kind of rough um, rough edge of course you probably will want to go with a square alpha and do maybe something like this cool so now we can mask by noise. Get some weathering. All I do is I slash a few uh, cross crisscrosses with the dime standard. Then I clear the mask and just smooth it. And guess this. This is also good for steps. If you if you want to do something that is a stone step, that way you get uh, because because what you do is um, let's do it on this side. You know what? I am going to isolate this. So because what you do, what you get with this uh, trick is you get a few very very deep um, cuts like this and then when you smooth the normals to average it you get a whole thing is slightly in with some very very um, tiny pieces left from the from the big um, carving that you did with depth handler What else you can do? You can go to this place, of course, and just create the noise. However, if you go with the display the, with the display brush, go very quick to morph target and uh, store morph target, and now. You can use your displays. Like this and then if you remove this you can go to B M O this is obviously uh, a lot less resolution than you want but you can go with more brush and you can just get back pieces that you think like this you gotta set the morph target the morph uh, the morph brush to a very low value though otherwise it would destroy would completely destroy your displacement like this there you go cool so let's do this and what you will do what I'll do is I'll just repeat myself on every stone
Their foundation, I should say. Uh, and I'll probably step up the resolution but for now I just want to make very crude um, cuts just so when you look at it you know this is something organic so this is why I carve pretty hard this And now you can start doing your the things that we just talked about. And it's um don't forget that this has more of a stylized look, so you can get away with something pretty pretty overshot in terms of um, like wear or scratches on the wood. You don't have to be um, really precise because here I can just go and well here I can go and create this and it will still look good as long as it has this edges. You know, just go nuts with it. This here will be planks, so once we create, once we get this piece to be uh, an actual and this one here will be delete like this yeah we don't need any artifacts here oh god damn it I gotta go okay well I kinda got carried away but we still covered some things I will finish this tower offline and I'll show it to you tomorrow before we continue with our uh, let me show it to you I think what um, I think this is it yep yep so before we continue with this, which is uh, a prop that we did, that we're doing every Wednesday, and this will be our second Wednesday, we did we do this, and this will be um, the day tomorrow. We'll finish this. We will uh, create this high poly into uh, an actual mesh, and we're gonna create these holographic screens in Maya. I mean, the planes; those are just placeholders, uh, and we're gonna texture it. The main thing will be texturing it because we'll have to jump between, I think, between Photoshop and Substance to create the holographic textures because those will be hollow screens and hollow keyboard. I still have to find a texture for the keyboard, so yeah, maybe <laughs> maybe it will be some kind of a wacky keyboard. But anyway, um, uh, that's it. That's basically 
update for today. I'm going to. I'm sorry I couldn't finish it today, uh, but since it wasn't scheduled, I decided I would just go and play a little bit until until I, ha uh, until I have time. We'll finish this. Uh, perhaps we'll just get this one. Get a few of those. We'll shoot D. Delete hidden. Turn off dynamash. On this, I'm going to show all. And here we can perhaps. Well, we can go turn them 90 degrees. Turn them 9 degrees, bring them in a little bit forward. Yes, I guess. Yep, this is how it will be on each side. And then I'll just uh, re dynamash it. Um, now, I won't do hand paint textures. I mean, if you want to see hand paint textures, I can probably give you. I can check out and give you a shout if you want uh, to who can show you. I'm just not really. I'm really not good at drawing, so textures, uh, hand paint textures, are something of a challenge for me. I prefer to do everything I can. Really, me. If you want to see me struggle for like three hours, okay, but I doubt anyone wants to see that. Well, thanks, man. Thanks. Uh, see you too tomorrow, then. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. Remember to check uh, my YouTube channel to check out the other streamers on Watch Me Work. And um, we'll see each other tomorrow at noon GMT. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe my videos. Uh, help me out so I can continue doing this whenever I can. And uh, thanks for all the support, guys. You've been amazing. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.